Hello, welcome to another module in this massive open online course on principles of CDMA, MIMO, OFDM, wireless communication systems. What we have seen in the previous module, we had seen how we can combine the signals received in a multiple receive antenna system employing MRC that is maximal ratio combining. What we are going to do now is we are going to look at an example of an MRC system of a maximal ratio combiner. So, what we want to do is we want to look at example of a maximal ratio combining system. So, what we want to do is want to com consider a system with a transmit antenna and a receive antenna and two receive antennas as we had seen previously and we have two receive antennas and we had denoted the fading coefficients between the transmit antenna 1 and receive antenna 1 by H 1, transmit antenna 1 and receive antenna 2 by H 2. And now, let in this example, let us consider H 1 the complex fading coefficient equals 1 by square root of 2 plus 1 by square root of 2 j. This is a simple example and we are considering H 2 equals 1 by square root of 2 minus 1 by square root of 2 j and therefore, we have these two fading coefficients h 1 which is given as 1 by square root of 2 plus 1 by square root of 2 j, h 2 which is given as 1 by square root of 2 minus 1 by square root of 2 j. Therefore, we have y 1 equals h 1 x that is 1 by square root of 2 plus 1 by square root of 2 j times x plus n 1 and we have y 2 equals 1 by square root of 2 minus 1 by square root of 2 j times x plus n 2. And further what we are going to assume is that in this example, we are going to set let us say expected value of magnitude n 1 square equals expected value of magnitude n 2 square equals sigma square which is equal to a half and in d b terms this is also 10 log 10 of half equals minus 3 d b. So, we are assuming a noise power of minus 3 b that is noise power of half per antenna or noise power of minus 3 d b at each antenna right. That is noise elements n 1 and n 2 have equal power sigma square which is equal to half or minus 3 d b ok. And now what we want to do and now if we know remember we re represented this as a vector that is y 1 y 2 y 1 bar y 2 y 1 y 2 or denoted by vector y 1 is the vector h bar which is h 1 h 2 which in this case 1 by square root of 2 plus 1 by square root of 2 j 1 by square root of 2 minus 1 by square root of 2 j times x plus n 1 n 2 that is representing this as a vector we have y bar equals h bar x plus n bar. And now therefore, the MRC optimal MRC beam forming vector, the optimal beam forming vector or the optimal maximal ratio combining vector is equal to h bar divided by norm of h bar. And now we have seen our vector h bar, this is given by this vector. And the norm of vector h bar, we know that the norm of vector h bar equals square root of magnitude h 1 square plus magnitude h 2 square. Now, our vector h bar, we know that h bar equals 1 by square root of 2 plus 1 by square root of 2 j and 1 by square root of 2 minus 1 by square root of 2 
1 by square root of 2 j and norm of h bar square equals square root of magnitude h 1 square plus magnitude h 2 square, but magnitude h 1 square is sum of squares of real and imaginary parts that is half plus half plus magnitude h 2 square is again the sum of the squares of its real and imaginary parts which is half plus half which is equal to square root of 2. Right. So, norm h norm h. So, norm h bar equals 2 and therefore, my w bar equals h bar divided by norm of h bar equals 1 by square root of 2 times 1 over square root of 2 plus 1 over square root of 2 j 1 over square root of 2 minus 1 over square root of j divided by square root of 2. So, this is my optimal maximal ratio combining. So, this now let me point out this, this is the MRC vector, this is the maximal ratio combining vector or also the MRC vector that is h bar divided by norm h and we have shown that norm h is equal to square root of 2. Therefore, h bar divided by square root of 2 is the optimal maximal ratio combining vector. And now what we also show, now what we want to derive is we want to derive the SNR. The SNR remember equals norm w bar Hermitian h bar square p divided by sigma square norm w bar norm w bar square. And now we also know that basically when now we also know let us compute this quantity w bar Hermitian h bar equals well 1 over square root of 2 times we have to take the complex conjugates 1 over square root of 2 minus 1 over square root of 2 j 1 over square root of 2 plus 1 over square root of 2 j times h bar which is 1 over square root of 2 plus 1 over square root of 2 j 1 over square root of 2 minus 1 over square root of 2 j which is equal to 1 over square root of 2 times 1 over square root of 2 minus 1 over square root of 2 j times 1 over square root of 2 plus 1 over square root of j. So, this is again half plus half plus another you can see half plus half which is equal to 2 divided by square root of 2 which is equal to square root of 2. So, w bar Hermitian h bar equals square root of 2 which means magnitude w bar Hermitian h bar whole square equals square root of 2 whole square equals 2. Further if you look at norm of w bar square, norm of w bar square equals well this is equals magnitude w bar magnitude w 1 square plus magnitude w 2 square which is equal to half into half plus half plus half plus half and this is equal to half times 2 which is equal to 1 and that is what we expect because we have normalized w bar to unit magnitude. When we considered w bar equals h bar divided by norm of h bar, we have normalized already normalized w bar to unit magnitude and therefore, we can see norm of w bar square is equal to 1 and therefore, the SNR equals p times w bar Hermitian h bar whole square divided by sigma square times norm w bar square which is equal to p times 2 
divided by now sigma square as we had seen previously is half norm w bar square is 1 therefore, this is equal to 4 p and therefore, what we have is S n r equals 4 times p for this system with maximal ratio combining. This is for m r c with maximal ratio combining. This is for the system with maximal ratio combining. Right. So, what we have done is we have looked at a simple example and we have considered the channel coefficients h 1 and h 2 and what we have done is we have derived the S n r of this system with maximal ratio combining and we have demonstrated that it is equal to 4 times p. And now, what we want to do is a small point we want to extend this to L antennas. Right now, we have considered a scenario with two antennas only we want to generalize this to L antennas. So, we want to generalize it generalize M R C. So, let us generalize the concept of M R C to L antennas and that is fairly simple as you might have already realized. If I have a transmitter and I have a receiver and I have a single transmit antenna and now instead of having only two receive antennas, let us say I have multiple, I have multiple receive antennas and uh, the various channel coefficients I am going to denote by h 1, h 2, so on up to h l. So, the channel coefficients are h 1, h 2, h l. So, what we are saying is the coefficient between transmit antenna and receive antenna 1 is h 1, coefficient between transmit antenna and receive antenna 2 is h 2, so on the coefficient between transmit antenna and receive antenna L is h L. So, instead of, so previously where we had two coefficients uh, or we had two antennas, we had two coefficients. Now, we have L antennas, an arbitrary number of antennas L and therefore, we have the correspond, we have correspondingly L channel coefficients h 1 to up to h L. And now, I can represent the system model, the vector system model for this system as y 1, y 2, y L equals h 1, h 2, h L x plus the vector noise vector n 1, n 2, n L. So, I have y bar equals h bar x plus n bar. And similarly, for the noise one can assume as we have done previously that expected each n i square equals sigma square that is each noise has power sigma square that is noise power noise power equals sigma square. Further, we can also assume that the noise on any two antennas to be uncorrelated that is expected value of n i n j equal to 0 for all i not equal to j that is noise on any two antennas is uncorrelated that is noise on any pair of antennas. noise on any pair of antennas is uncorrelated. And now, we can perform the combining at the receiver as y tilde equals w 1 conjugate y 1 
plus W2 conjugate Y2 plus so on WL conjugate YL, which basically one can now write it in vector form as equals W bar Hermitian Y bar, which is basically equal to W bar Hermitian Y bar equals H bar X plus N bar, which is equal to W bar Hermitian H bar plus X plus W bar Hermitian N bar and this is the signal part. Now, again this is the signal part and this is the noise part and therefore, for maximum signal to noise power ratio, for achieving the maximum signal to noise power ratio, one can choose MRC or maximal ratio combining, choose MRC that is maximal ratio combining as W bar equals H bar divided by norm H bar, which is basically 1 over norm H bar times the vector H 1, H 2 up to H L, where the quantity norm H bar you should be familiar with this by now norm H bar is equal to square root of magnitude H 1 square plus magnitude H 2 square plus magnitude H L square and also the S N R with maximum ratio combining. equals norm H bar square times P divided by sigma square. This is my S N R with maximal ratio combining, which is equal to P times magnitude H 1 square plus magnitude H 2 square plus so on up to magnitude H L square divided by sigma square. So, what we have derived is we have derived the uh, SNR with maximal ratio combining in an L antenna system. So, what to summarize in this module, we have seen an example of maximal ratio combining in a system with two receive antennas and we have generalized the concept of this maximal ratio combining to a system with L receive antennas in which we have say, said that the MRC beam for MRC vector combining vector W bar equals H bar divided by norm H and also the associated SNR for maximal ratio combining is P times norm H square divided by sigma square, which is P times magnitude of H 1 square plus magnitude H 2 square so on so forth until magnitude H L square whole divided by sigma square. So, this is the concept of maximal ratio combining to extract diversity that is as we said we, are, we begin uh, we began this discussion because of diversity that is we wanted to employ diversity in a system with multiple antennas to basically improve the better rate performance of the system. And in subsequent modules we are going to see how this diversity, how having multiple receive antennas uh, in reality enhance or uh, uh, improves the performance by decreasing the better rate. Thank you very much.